Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to try and recreate uh, a design I saw on Etsy. Like this. Um, like this. And you'll notice uh, that this design costs $21. Uh, so stay tuned. Let's see what I can drum up today. So the other day I created a video on how to place song lyrics in a photo like this. And um, I've decided to re-record the video. So I apologize for that if you're going to, this is the second time that you're seeing this video. But um, I wanted to make it clear that it's in no way acceptable to use song lyrics in digital art for the explicit reason of reselling. Um, you do need to have the consent of the artist in order to use um, a, an artist's name, um, their lyrics in items that you are planning to resell, whether it's um, in your community that you're selling them, whether it's on Etsy, whether it's on Shopify. If you're using this technique for personal use, then um, again, you're doing so at your own risk. All right, so what I have here on my page is I have a black shape here and I've got uh, my paragraph. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to grab the words and you'll want to make them fit in the paragraph. Now, if you've got And you'll want to bring it right up to the black line to just minimize how much um, space there is. So you'll see right there, I'm kind of um, right at the top uh, with very, very little space. Um, and now here, I just want to make sure that I don't have any empty space here. So I'm just going to come into spacing and I'm going to either increase or decrease the line spacing. And if you have any words left over, just um, you can just delete those words. Okay. Now, um, I'm, I'm also going to just decrease um, here a little bit. And then uh, with my shape at the bottom, I'm just going to bring it up so that it fits right around the perimeter of the paragraph. Now, once I'm done this, I'm going to download it as uh, a PNG with a transparent background. So I'll download that. I'm now going to go into a new design and I am going to create a uh, Facebook post. And now I'm going to search for a couple dancing. Okay, this um, seems to be fine. If you um, have an image with a background, then you can um, either go into a magic grab and just grab um, the couple, or you can use BG Remover to remove the background. Um, I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger, and I'm just gonna make a copy of this. Okay, so what I need to do next is I need to turn the couple uh, into white so that I can create a frame from the image of the couple. So basically, I I need to I need to create a cutout, um, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to place a shape uh, behind the couple. 
and I'm just going to color the shape black and I'm going to position the shape behind the image of the couple and uh, let me just change that like that okay so now I'm going to grab this I'm going to go into edit photo and I'm going to use duo tone to uh, make the couple um, totally white okay so I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna change this tone to white as well okay so now it's 100% white okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share this page I'm gonna download it uh, as a PNG uh, with a transparent um, background I'm going to add another page and I'm going to grab that image here I'm going to wait for it to load and then I'm going to edit the photo and I'm going to remove the background of the photo Alright, so let's see if that worked and yeah, it kind of did work. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is because um, sometimes the background remover isn't so stable, I'm going to actually download this um, as an image and um, I'm going to use um, that image in my design. Um, okay, so it's still okay. So I'm going to download this uh, page, page three and okay, so I'm going to download that um, with a transparent background uh, and okay. Um, okay, so let's go back. Um, so here's my couple here and I'm just going to bring them down um, here. Um, And I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger like that. Okay. Um, okay. So let me bring in my uh, frame. Okay. Here's my frame. You can see that it is, um, um, you can see right through it. Um, so let me just um, resize this. Now you're probably wondering like, what am I, what am I going to do with this? Right? Um, but bear with me uh, for just a minute, okay? So I'm just going to try and match this up as best that I can. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, image and uh, I'm going to... I'm going to um, use du Duotone to uh, make this image white okay so i'm going to go into edit photo i'm going to go into do a tone and again i'm going to use custom and i'm going to move that to white i'm going to take that i'm also going to move it all the way up to white okay all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my lyrics. All right, so here are my ly lyrics, which I brought in from my files. Uh, and um, yeah, so here they are. Um, so you're probably wondering what am I going to do with these lyrics? Okay, so what you're going to do is now these lyrics are no longer a text format, they are an image. And what we need to do is we need to reverse of the um, colors so we need to make the background white and we need to make the text black so we're going to click on the image of the text we're going to go to edit photo we're going to go to duotone 
and we're going to click custom. And what we're going to do is we're just going to reverse these two. Um, this one's going to be black and this one's going to be white. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to make it black, um, almost black. And on the black one, I'm going to make it all the way, I'm going to turn it all the way up to the white. Okay. So now we have this uh, image. I'm also going to come up to transparency and I'm going to make it slightly transparent. And you can make, toggle the transparency um, however you like. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the text where the photo is. And I'm going to bring the text. Um, I'm going to duplicate it and copy all the way down the photo. So I'll make a copy. And when you're making a copy, what you'll want to do is you'll just want to make sure that you are, are that you're not leaving any space between the two images, um, that they look absolutely connected like that. Okay, so I'm just going to make another copy and I'm going to do the same thing. Another copy. And you'll notice that when you're making copies and you're, you're kind of doing the same action, Canva remembers and does it for you. So that's what it's done. I don't now I don't have to adjust. It's just doing it automatically. So when I click duplicate again, it's going to do the same thing. Okay. Um, okay. So now you're wondering, okay, like, what are we going to do? What's next, Amy? Okay. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to take that cutout and you're going to bring it to the front of your design. So we're going to go into position. We're going to grab the cutout and we're going to just bring that right to the very top. And there you go. Okay. So now what we'll need to do is we'll just need to hide that section there. So we can just do that by grabbing a shape and bringing that shape here and just bringing that all the way down and making that white. Okay. So, um, that's pretty much it. Um, we can make this a little bit lighter. Maybe it's too dark for you. So, um, let's, um, go back to position. We're going to grab the, the text again. We're going to go to transparency and we're just going to make it lighter like that. Okay. And so that's pretty much it for the placing the paragraph in uh, the photo lyrics in a photo, um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but again, please note that using song lyrics, you do need the explicit consent of the song writer or the artist um, in order to resell. Um, so another thing that you might want to do is you might want to bring in some text uh, into this uh, image. So you can come over to text here and we can write Jack and Jill, and we can just update that to a nice font like Brittany. And, um, we can add a shadow, a white shadow so that we can see the background a little bit better. And we can just bring that down here like so. And we can then also bring in uh, maybe um, their engagement date. Like so. So uh, let's compare this to the uh, Etsy shop. Okay, so here is the image I try to reproduce. Let's just compare them side by side. Um, so this is the image 
from Etsy and um, this is the image that I created. It's pretty close. Um, the only other thing that um, I didn't do was I didn't change the, the photo to black and white and that's pretty simple to do. Um, just go to your photo, you can edit photo, you can go to filters and you can scroll all the way down to one of these, either classic, uh, ink, um, I believe there's one called newspaper that's pretty close as well. So that's actually the closest to this design right here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. I hope that you learned something. Um, and if you did, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe so that you're the first to be notified when something new comes out. For now, my friends, I wish you adieu until the next time. Bye-bye.